Hi everyone, Joe for Jaspies, CaseBreaks.com, coming at you with 2020-2021 Panini Prism Premier League Soccer, English Premier League Soccer, two box, random club break number one. This is breakaway edition, so it's like Prism Basketball has like fast break, right? I think ba Prism Baseball is quick pitch. Prism Football is... I don't remember what Prism Football is called, but it's that, it's that uh, same vibe. 18 spots, all card ship. There's all the clubs right there. Big thanks to everyone here for getting in on it. And there are the clubs plus a couple comboed clubs. Let's roll it. Let's randomize each list. Three and a six, nine times for names and teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. It's no huddle. Prism football is no huddle. So it's the same vibe. Robert down to Robert after nine. And nine times for the clubs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine, we got Tottenham down to Leicester. All right, Robert with Tottenham Hotspur, Matthew with Fulham, Bill with Newcastle, John with Southampton, Josh with Sheffield, and West Brom. Taylor with Everton, Robert with uh, Liverpool, that's my club, Tim with Wolverhampton, Patrick with Chelsea, Matthew with Man City, Ron, uh, Ron. John with Palace and Leeds, Robert with Brighton, West Ham, and Manchester United, Taylor with Burnley, Bill with Aston Villa, Martin with Arsenal, and Robert with Leicester City. Let's sort by column B right here. Hey, you're welcome, Dame. Thanks for getting in. There you go. So uh, as I said before the video, we're uh, sharing this breakaway case. We only got one case. We're sharing the breakaway case with the personals channel on Instagram Live at Jaspi's Breaks. So just keep that in mind. We're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades and then the breaks. Stick around. All right, welcome back, folks. There were no deals done, not even a whisper of a, of a transfer. Is that what we, should, what, we should, what we should call it, transfers instead of trades? I actually wasn't really paying attention to the footy on Sunday, on the Premier League action, but Brighton, Hove, Albion beat Southampton 2-1. Troussard with the game winner. Leicester shutting out Sheffield 5-0. Got a hat trick by uh, Iannaccio. With a goal by Perez, Alan Perez. And then an own goal didn't help either from Sheffield, giving Leicester a goal. Arsenal beat Tottenham in the North London Derby. Odegaard with the, with the uh, looks like the equalizing goal after Eric, Eric Lamella opened in the 33rd minute. 1-0 Tottenham. Then Odegaard for Arsenal scored... Ten minutes later, then uh, Lacazette scored on a penalty in the 64th minute, was putting uh, Arsenal up 2-1, and then Lamella got himself uh, sent off in the 76th minute. And Manchester United uh, winning with a, because of an own goal by West Ham United. And then my club, Liverpool, finally got a goal in uh, injury time in the first half. And they beat Wolves 1-0 away, which was which was good. Liverpool really need to get back on track. So mix up saying what? Lamella scored a, a, a Rabona? I'm not sure if I know what that means. Match of the day saying watch Eric Lamella's Rabona goal for Tottenham. Mm. Oh, I can't watch that. Right, Rabona is a, is the technique of kicking the football where the leg is crossed behind the back of the standing leg. There are several reasons why a player might opt to strike the ball this way. For example, right between the striker and the goal. Oh, 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 okay, okay, I know what that is. 
Really? How does that... In open play? Okay, now I do have to see this. So you're essentially hooking your leg behind your standing leg. This was an open play. Look at that. Ooh. Wow. Yeah, I, I probably can't show you on the stream lest my stream get shut down, but but that's that's worth a look. Yeah, like blink and you'll miss it, but. The cross went past Lamella, then it came back to him, and he just instinctively hooks his left leg around his standing right leg to hit the ball, and it goes into the corner. That's pretty amazing. And then he got himself sent off later. All right, for Fulham, there's Niskins Cabano. That is, what an audacious goal by Eric Lamella. Who does he think he is? Ooh. There's Scott Dan. And we've got a Thomas Susek. Five out of ten. Nice low number there. And that is for Westham United. That will be for Robert Runkel. <laughs> Liverpool looking slowly like their old selves with Fabinho in the midfield. It's Tyrone Mings. And there's Lender Deng Donker to 195. What was the red card situation? Was it a straight red for him? Or did he have two yellows? Ooh, he kind of threw an elbow back. Oh, second yellow, yeah, he's he's done. Yeah, he kind of kind of threw an elbow back and kind of caught him in the chin or the shoulder of a guy or something like that of the defender that was behind him. There's Mark Noble. There's Roman Saiz to 99. Remember, this is breakaway, so these are these are the this pulsar. I guess is going to be the the exclusive sets that you'll see from the breakaway. These are just breakaway exclusive autographs too. Yeah, ten exclusive prisms plus the silver. There's Jamal Lewis for Newcastle and Phil Foden for Man, uh, Man City, that is. Matthew of Man City. There's a Granite Zaka and a nice Bruno Fernandez for Man United. Robert Runkel. And for Arsenal. That's a 99. That'll be for Martin. It's Harvey Barnes for Leicester. Yeah, it could have been a straight red, throwing the elbow back like that. Oh, Tottenham had some chances at the end. I'm, I'm, the video auto-played to the, the highlight of the game. 
There's Sadio Mane for Liverpool. There's Lacazette. Scored a goal over the weekend to 195. Curtis Jones. Nice one for Liverpool. That will be for Robert. Should be a future star for Liverpool. Lacazette for Arsenal. Maybe we'll find some Sakas in there. Not Zakas, but Sakas. So we had some Champions League action today, too. They say Tuesday. So the final... Uh, the final match is, I think, to set up the quarterfinals. So Man City cruises. They advance 4 on aggregate, so they're in the next round. And it looks like Real Madrid beat uh, Atalanta 3-1 to move on to the quarterfinals. I, when is the, the draw? This Friday, I think. Yeah, around... Wait, hold on. 11 a.m. their time. As in... As in Switzerland. Which... Which would be... Or no, 11 a.m. GMT. Which is 6 a.m. Eastern time, according to this website. So that'll be 3 a.m. my time. On Friday. Will I be up? I might be. <laughs> then we'll see the, the quarterfinal draw. And we'll see if Liverpool still has a chance at, at, at a trophy. Don't want Man City. <laughs> So quarterfinals will be, so the pool, oh right, daylight saves until the end of the month. Man, this time thing, we gotta, we gotta fix this. Uh, quarterfinals, the teams are gonna be Liverpool, Man City, Paris Saint-Germain, Borussia Dortmund, Porto, and Real Madrid. I don't wanna see any of those teams. Dortmund maybe? Porto, perhaps? All right, there's Sadio Mane. Aaron Ramsey. I don't know if Liverpool can get... If they can get their scoring back, then I think they can they can line up with anybody, but I don't know if I want to see any of those teams. There's Curtis Jones right now. All right, there's Jeff Henrik to 195. And kaboom, look at that. I was like, this, that card was felt different. There's Anwar El Ghazi for Aston Villa. That'll go to Bill. I'm a fan of the Curtis Jones. I, th I think he, he's going to be a future star for Liverpool. I think his his early, I mean, he's still young. He still has a lot of ways to go, but he's contributing now, so which is great. There's the Amex for Brighton Hove Albion. So I th I think they're trying to be careful with him. So they're not they're trying not to have him play too many minutes too early or put too much pressure on him. There's Timothy Fasu Mensa to 99, Robert with Manu. So I think they're trying to avoid that. There's been times where he's been. You know, taken off in like the 60th or 70th minute, and he's he's been unhappy, which you almost liken a player. 
because you want him to be unhappy. You don't want him to be eager to get off the field. So he's, he's shown the right attitudes and been doing all the right things. Seems to be a good, good kid. There's Brandon Pierrick to 195 for Palace. So I think I think Curtis Jones, if he if he's able to stay fit and evolves week to week, you know, I think he's gonna be a big reason why the why Liverpool can maybe sneak into a top four spot or better yet, go deep in the Champions League, at least make a final. Could be a big reason why there's N'Golo Kante along with his teammate Timo Werner. These are both for Chelsea, Patrick. There's Davy Proper to 195 for Brighton. There's Roberto Firmino. No, I actually don't think Liverpool will be top four. They'd have to run the table. What would they have to do? They'd have to run the table and uh, they'd have to run the table and have who's ahead of them. I mean, they'd have to leapfrog West Ham United and Chelsea. So you'd have to have two teams ahead of you to fall out of the top four. Yeah, it'll it'll be it'll be a tall task, and with how poorly Liverpool's been playing lately, another out of ten. Nice, five out of ten. Harrison Reed for uh, for Fulham. That'll be for Matthew. Yeah, there are too many obstacles for Liverpool to go through. Although they're only what 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51. <laughs> only five points behind, but they'd have they'd have to pretty much win out. And then even then, still might need a little bit of help at the end. And I don't know if that's going to happen. There's Son Hyun Min for Robert and Tottenham. Yeah, nine nine matches left is just not enough to make that make up that deficit. Unless unless Weston keeps dropping points. There's Chris Wood for Burnley. Is this the first year where? Where there are three such similarly colored teams, Burnley, Aston Villa, and, and West Ham United have very similar color schemes. All right, here's our one per box silver, Joe Linton. There's Bernardo Silva, Solly Marsh. And that is that, ladies and gentlemen. Quick little two box breakaway break. 2020 Panini Prism Premier League Soccer, different exclusive parallels in the breakaway set. So check that out on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Remember, we're sharing a uh, we're sharing a case with the personals channel on Instagram, so get it while supplies last. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next one. Go Liverpool.